Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Stock Hub Review. I'm your host, as always, Stock Hub. Now, on to tonight's agenda. Uh, I want to do sort of like a, a talk, sort of like a laugh at just how fucking ridiculous this sh bullshit has become. Uh, it's in regards to the brand new Silent Hill 2 remake, in which State of Play showed some gameplay and a trailer, and then we got the Silent Hill intermission that followed afterwards in regards to thir over 13 minutes worth of gameplay footage, and it was spectacular. It was absolutely fucking amazing. And I will say that right now. It looks fucking amazing. Bloober team, they have done an amazing job. They have really, really captured Silent Hill 2. Uh, you know, for it being uh, a, a masterpiece from the Silent Hill 2 era, it, 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 it understandably, a lot of people were going to be up in arms of the slightest little change here or the slightest little change there it looks like a very very faithful remake to the original while not one for one in some spots but you know what i don't care it just looks absolutely amazing i gotta give props to bloober team they have done an amazing job and props to uh, economy for you know working with them they know their shit and they've obviously know that Bluebird can do their sh uh, that know their shit as well. The atmosphere is captured really well. The gameplay, the settings, everything, the fog, the town, everything is a, is what I dreamed of twenty fucking years ago. Um, to see those graphics now and Silent Hill Two, like what it looks like now, it's coming October A. I am fucking excited. Um, but it looks incredible. They have really, really captured it. More so than what the original did. And that's hands down, no bullshit, no lying. But this shit, and this shit, and this shit, and this shit. People fucking, like, just have field day with it. Absolute fucking field day with it. And I, I don't understand everyone's fucking criticisms. They, you know, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. It's, it makes me laugh looking at shit like this because people have nothing better to do than drag uh, a company down because it didn't have this or it didn't have Eddie in a, in a fucking trailer and all oh, the combat looks really shoddy. Oh, that's not a faithful remake. Um, oh, they've already lied because it's not faithful because how you meet the monster in in the second one at the start of Silent Hill 2 is different from the remake. And it's like, oh my God. And you know what pisses me off even more is that this sort of shit comes from high profile YouTubers that have nothing better to do than sit there and go, oh, Silent Hill looks absolutely amazing, but it looks weird. Oh, you know, Maria, oh, Maria's changed her outfit. They've done him, Maria's outfit different. Oh, that's not a, fa that's not, that, that's not being faithful at all. Like, what the fuck, people? Oh, you know, people were, compl uh, people were complaining that um, the original James Sunderland, when we first originally saw the reveal trailer for it, CGI trailer for it, People were up in arms because James didn't look like he did from twenty from twenty old year twenty year old video game. So then Bloober Team changed it to make it look more in line with the original, which they both looked good. I like what they've done is absolutely amazing. The first reveal was absolutely amazing, but this sort of shit from YouTubers that want to complain that, oh, this is not faithful, this looks shoddy, this looks bad, what about the frame rate, blah, 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 DEI are taking over and made, made this character look fat. I mean, this shit is just funny. It's really, really laughable. Like, really? People come down and people complain about Laura looking different 
and she looks ugly. And then you've got bloody... It, it's absolutely insane, the amount of bullshit um, with these two new reveals that we've just seen, not even 24 hours, and people are already... People are already complaining that it's not faithful. Blueber team of Blueber team have fucked this up already. What? I, I just I, I don't I, I I honestly don't understand everyone's fucking complaints. I really really don't. I I, I can't see it. I, I'm like, are you serious? It looks it looks friggin' gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Maria looks absolutely amazing. Laura looks really good. Haven't seen Eddie yet. I, I would love to see Eddie, but you know what? I am I just can't wait for the reveal when he finally does get revealed. Uh, Angela, everyone's now picking on fucking Angela. You know, I, I, I watched a video of DEI uh, made, has made characters fat. You know, boycott Silent Hill 2. We can't let this, we can't let this video game uh, get, get it, get into circulation. We can't do this. Uh, Bloober team have failed. Economy have failed. Like, what the fuck? And people poking fun at the fact that Angela doesn't look like Angela from the original. She looks totally different. Oh, she looks fat. Uh, DEI made uh, her look fat. I think she looks fine. It's a video game, people. At the end of the fucking day, it's a video game. I just don't understand the bullshit with people, especially high-profile YouTubers, that sit there and literally say shit. Like, oh, it looks absolutely brilliant. They've done this. They've captured this. They've captured that. But, oh, this isn't, this isn't um, faithful or this isn't up to standards. Oh, the, the, all their facial models look weird. This looks weird. The combat looks shoddy. That presentation was absolutely amazing. And the reason why I am making this video is because I'm calling out. I'm seriously calling, I'm seriously calling out all those YouTubers and high profile YouTubers that literally will say one thing really, really good about it, but then critique the fuck out of it and go, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, oh, this is weird, this doesn't look right, this is not Faithful Remake, and it's like, why? Why are you, why do you sit there and bullshit and spew to people that, oh, this looks really good and this looks really good and this looks really good, but, oh, this looks shoddy or this could have been done a lot better or, you know, DEI is taking over here, and oh, we we got a you know uh, latest video, some video uh, some videos that I've seen with some weird fucking ass titles is apparently uh, apparently now they've made Angela um they've made Angela uh, a lesbian. We've got to boycott it because you know she's a lesbian. They've made characters gay. It's like oh my god, I'm just like really you want to. Seriously boycott a uh, seriously boycott a video game over that bullshit, and you get that from a character looking like that from a presentation. I'm um, just like video gamers today, especially people that spout all this good stuff about this video game and that video game and that have one. You know they say one thing but then they have to critique the fuck out of the video game because it's not up to their standards and it's not a triple O title. And I just, I, I don't understand. I don't understand the hate that Silent Hill 2 Remake is getting. I really, really don't. It is absolutely fantastic what uh, Konami and Bloober Team have done. They are obviously no Bloober Team, know their shit, and it's in very, very good hands. Otherwise, Economy wouldn't have gone ahead and done what they've done and let Blueber Team do this. It's like, relax, people. Everything will be fine. It's not even released yet. It comes out in October. They still got to go through all, the rest of their finalization for the video game, critique this, you know, fix this, fix that, fix bugs. So just 
take a fucking chill pill, um, everybody. Like, seriously. I, I just, I was speaking to a friend on Facebook today about this shit that's currently, you know, biggest fucking trend lately on YouTube is let's all pick the shit out of Silent Hill 2 because it looks weird. The facial models look weird. Oh, James Sullivan doesn't look like this and Laura doesn't look like that and Angela's a lesbian and, you know, let's boycott it, you know. And now everything, you know, got other videos saying, oh, oh, this person's trans, th these, these gamers are transphobic because they don't like Angela being gay and all of that. And I'm just like, never, never dealt with this shit back in the day. Never had this type of bullshit. But now, 20 odd years later, it's just become, it, it's just, gamers are selfish, selfish, selfish. Really fucking selfish. And it's really sad that there's a lot of YouTubers out there that resort to this bullshit, that really spout good stuff about it, but then spout all the bullshit about it. And it's like, it hasn't come out yet, but yet you want to critique the fuck out of it and say that it's not a AAA title and it's, and it's this and it's that and this is shameful and blah, 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 blue but you're gonna fuck it up. I'm like, where, where, where do gamers get off saying that that it should be done this way and that way and this way. It's like, just be fucking grateful, people, that you're even fucking getting a Silent Hill 2 remake. Because, hey, they could have turned around and went, you know what, we're not going to put up with this bullshit from gamers anymore. Honestly, props to Konami, props to Blooper Team. I think they've done a fantastic job. I cannot wait for Silent Hill 2 remake. It looks fucking fantastic. It looks as faithful as it can fucking get. Even more so than the fucking original. And I'm being honest here. The, I absolutely adore Silent Hill 2. But to get it up to modern standards and stuff like that, and I'm reimagining it to in 2024, this is what we get. And it looks fucking fantastic. And I, I really cannot just understand YouTubers and high profile YouTubers out there that really spout two different things and then critique the fuck out of that and critique the fuck out of this and think that it's gonna be shit because Angela looks different or buddy Maria Maria's outfit has changed, so oh it's not faithful. She doesn't look like a you know she doesn't look like the original like a skimpy like, for goodness sake, I, I just, I, I don't understand gamers today. I'll probably never understand gamers today. But do this sort of bullshit and expect people to, you know, listen to their bullshit and their critiques and what should be done and what should have been done when people should be making up their own minds before listening to high-profile YouTubers because they're not the be all and end all, you know, and, and, I, and I'm not bullshitting any of this. I'm not calling out any of those high profile YouTubers. I'm not even going to say who they are. I'm just calling out their bullshit. I, I just think, you know, th th it's, it's, it's people like that that do this sort of shit on YouTube that destroy the video game industry, that destroy titles becoming successful because you call for a boycott of this, or you call for a boycott of that. Oh my God, this doesn't look like this. Oh my God, that character's um, that character's um, gay. That protagonist is gay. Oh, I don't like it because he's gay. I'm gonna boycott it. It's like that whole fucking bullshit with Assassin's Creed Shadows and the fact that Yusaki, yeah, the lead one of the the, the black um, samurai in it, Yusaki, um, is gay. Let's boycott it. Oh my god, that's fucking horrible. And that's like, uh, when does the bullshit ever end? It's people like that that really frustrate the fuck out of me to no end. I, I, it looks, Assassin's Creed Shadows looks fantastic. I'm still going to get it regardless. I'm not going to boycott it. Why? Just because it has a gay um, samurai in it? Who gives the, who really cares? 
Like, really? If that's, if that's what people have come up with, bullshit that people can come up with today because it, it, it doesn't portray this properly and it doesn't portray that properly and all this kind of crap, then you're not really true gamers at all. You're lying to yourself if you think you are because gamers don't act like that. Gamers don't act like fucking selfish little twats, like little kids, five-year-old kids in a playground Picking on this, picking on this, and picking on that, and boycotting this, and boycotting that, and saying, "Yeah, oh, this is so ugly. I'm not going to play that." Blah blah blah. This is disgusting. You know, this is not the type of video game that should be made today. Grow up, people. Grow up. Seriously, for the people out there that buy video games and enjoy video games for what they are, I fucking commend those people. I really fucking do because people go out there and enjoy titles. People don't want to buy a title or even before it comes out and see this sort of shit on YouTube splashed, you know, uh, as a headline. Gotta boycott this because this this ninja's gay or this character's this character looks fat. And it's like, oh my god, like really? It, it's a never-ending cycle. It's like I'm living back in high school. Never had an issue with video, with video gamers 20 freaking years ago. Everyone got along. Everyone got along. Video game, it was not a fucking issue. And now all of a sudden, it's a fucking issue because this character's gay or this character's a lesbian. Or this character looks fat. Or they portrayed this girl with big tits and a big ass. And it's like, really? Like... Really, honestly, people, like, you're lying to yourself if you think you can sell your fucking title and your channel spouting good stuff about it, but then critique the absolute fuck out of it because it makes you look like idiots at the end of the day when you say all this nice stuff about it, but then critique the fuck out of it going, oh, this doesn't match with this and this doesn't go with this and oh, they really need to tweak this and they really need to do this. And it's like, just be glad you're even fucking getting a Silent Hill 2 remake at that. Because Konami could have turned around and said, you know what, not going to deal with this bullshit. Same with Bloober Team. They could have turned around and gone, we're not going to deal with this. Honestly, if that's the level of what gamers can a trash talk these days, then seriously, I think you all need to take a serious hard look at yourselves and really go, is it fucking worth it? Is it worth trashing a video game because it doesn't meet your fucking standards? Like, really? Because I don't... I, I watch these high-profile YouTubers' videos. I'm subscribed to them. And I love watching their videos. But when they critique something and take the piss out of it and go, this is not up to standard, then I think that's just that's 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 just you. But then you expect other people to follow your suit as well and go, well this is not this is not suitable and this is atrocious. Because a lot of the, a lot of the time I see nowadays is with a lot of comments is They'll follow the same, they'll follow the exact same routine as the um, as the high profile YouTuber, critiquing this, critiquing that. Oh, that doesn't look like that, and that doesn't that doesn't go there, and that. Oh, that's not faithful. It's like we shouldn't be doing that. We should just be thankful for even we've even got fucking video games. I mean, for Christ's sake, it's a video game at the end of the day. Just be happy you're even getting it, people. And with that. I'm going to stop there because this topic, I could talk about this topic for a very long time, but I'm not going to because uh, it, it, it's just the, the level of audacity that some of these YouTubers have these days that think they're, they're the bee's knees is atrocious, really is atrocious, and the critiques and the nastiness and the way that they think that they're entitled to a, a title with, a, um, you know, it has to be 100% faithful. It has to be like this. It has to be like this. It has to go like this. 
Why? Why does it have to? I don't, I don't see it having to go full faithful. Change a few things up. It's got to come into modern standards. Like, come on, people. Like, once you get it and you play it, then critique it. But positive fucking critiques, not awful fucking critiques like this is ugly, they've made Angela gay, boycott this because, you know, DEI, they, they allowed DEI to apparently turn her, you know, make fat characters. <sighs> Honestly, this, this shit really ugh, grinds my gears. But with that, people, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to keep up to date with all my material that's coming in the next couple of days. And I do have to apologise if I have come off a little bit heated, but I am really passionate about Silent Hill 2 and the remake. I am absolutely looking forward to it. This sort of shit has really just fueled me even more and so much more excited to all those fucking haters out there that can't stand Silent Hill 2 remake right now and the way that it looks. It's just really fueled my excitement even more. Um, and my friend that I was talking to on Facebook, he's fueled even more by all of this bullshit that, you know, it's not going to deter us from uh, enjoying the fuck out of it. Um, why should it deter anybody else? But hey, that's just my opinion. And with that, I bid you adieu. Ciao.